I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Woo, I enjoyed that. How you doing, Joe? Joe? It's nice to meet you. <laughs> now, you've known Charlie for a while, huh? Oh, yeah. Come on in well, here, Joe. Well, how far back do you guys go? Too far. Too yes, far? Really. Next question. Next no. Ah. No, <laughs> actually, actually, I guess back in the 80s. Back in, in, in the beginning of the record industry. <laughs> When we were on cylinders and stuff like that. No, we don't go back that far. Come oh, on, man. Wow. No. Well, Charlie and I were telling the folks a little bit about your history, what all you've done, how many people's careers you've been involved with. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the most exciting to you when you think back about it? The, the work that you've done on your own records or the work you've done on other people's records? I, I think uh, looking back on it, I think it's uh, whenever I could be of service to somebody else. Man, that's, that's a candy way of saying it, isn't it? Well, anyway, no, it, it's it, not. It anyway, honest. if I if I could be of service to somebody, like mm -hmm. like you know, make them sound better, that sort of thing. Yeah, well, you're so a I, very. I guess you could say I, I like production and yeah. the dressing up of other folks' stuff. Yeah, I know you you've been involved in so many aspects of it. You go back to uh, when you were a kid. You walked into WGST in Atlanta. Bill Lowry was the DJ down there, who later became a very big record executive down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yeah, you remember him. You just walked in and said, "Hey, I want to be on the radio." <laughs> and they put you on, right? Well, you know, the radio station had burned down, you know, the night before. And it was just like, like there was a few machines sitting around and there were ashes all over everything. I have heard and of this. Bill had a bandage on his head. He had slid off the road the night before mm -hmm. booking a concert out at the sports arena. And uh, so they didn't know what to make of me anyway. So, you know, plus I had my mom with me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what were you wanting to do? Play guitar, sing, or what? Well, well just anything. You know, I'd, I'd introduce a song, anything. You know, mm -hmm. tap dance. So I can still dance a little bit. Would you like to show us? Yeah. Okay. All right. No, no seriously, we can play something for you. Uh, <laughs> I'd, I'd rather jazz. dance while Don Williams sings my song. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know I'll, true. I'll do a little interpretive dance. like. Yeah, I got you for games people go. play, yeah. I'm sure Don would be very amused by that. Yeah. Is it true that you've never met Don Williams until tonight? This is a truism. Did you talk to him backstage yet? Uh, I, yes, and uh, he's uh, everything that I ever thought Don Williams would be, and probably uh, probably even uh, more. What do you think he thought of you? Uh, he, pr he looked at me like I was every bit the thing that he expected me to be, <laughs> and possibly even more. He couldn't get over it. What? That's what we. I think that's what we call a candy answer here, Joe. That's but, candy, uh, all right. Hey, well, listen, bring us up to date. What are you doing now in the music industry? Well, shucks, I'm worrying a lot, you know, uh, uh, trying to worry some pounds off, one thing mm -hmm. or another. And I've just signed with uh, uh, Ann and Tiny Tant of the Tant family fame. And uh, we're going to play concerts in Europe. Actually, there's a big argument between America and Europe. Uh, America would rather I play Europe, and Europe would rather I play America. <laughs> but so, it's, so how do you handle that, Joe? Well, it's, uh, you know, what you do is you just, uh, just sort of be sparing with yourself. Just sort of spread it out. That's right. Make them want you. Make them beg true. for you. Yeah. That's what you have to do. What, are you still as into songwriting as you were in the I 60s? I love you guys. Do you really? <laughs> we like you too, Joe. Well, and we've just met, and we already love each other. This well, is still shucks. so special. Yeah. But, but you still, are, are you as into songwriting as you were back in the 60s and 70s? Yeah, in that, in that yeah, I really want to be. You, you, you bet. I'm, I'm sitting down there going, hmm. Yeah. That's a songwriting pose there. Yeah, it? yeah. <laughs> well, now, how has songwriting changed over the years? I mean, you, you, you think back to the classic songs that you came up, you came up with, uh, Don't It Make You Want to Go Home, Games People Play, which Don's going to do here in just a few moments, and you compare that to the songs of today. Is there a big difference from a songwriter point of view? I don't know. I don't think so. I would, I would approach it the same way. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, uh, I would like, get a, uh, a bright idea, you know, like the light bulb, <laughs> yeah. a bright idea, and then uh, go off in the woods and work on it. That's where you like to write? You go out in the woods? Yeah, I go down to the beach or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. No distractions at all? That's right. That's right. Oh, that's very interesting. Well, now tell me about being in the studio with people like, I mean, were you actually in the studio with Aretha Franklin, Bob yeah. Dylan? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were, uh, they were astounded at me, too. They, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was every bit what they wanted to see. Yeah, what yeah, they wanted sure, to sure. see, yeah. of course. <laughs> Well, you know something? With, with all that you've done, you know, the big thing is writing books these days. Mm -hmm. You could write about your experiences, tell all, that sort of thing. Tell all? That's right. Oh, man, I couldn't do that, you know. I, I, 
I like the people in my life too much to tell <laughs> everything. You know? Well, hold back on a few things. <laughs> but no, now here's the question. Here's yeah. if you did write a book, who would be in the most trouble? The people you know or you? You, because you talked me into it. Ah, there's, one. <laughs> there's one of those stock answers man, again from I the songwriter. He's got a good mind, doesn't he? I know. He's got a quick mind. Hey, listen, before we take a break, we need to tell the folks about the uh, Georgia Music Hall of Fame. You, you're involved in uh, yes. one of their productions down there, right? Yes, well, uh, Georgia has uh, built a Hall of Fame, and... Uh, and where I'm in there. I'm going to be just standing there doing an interpretive dance. You know? No, you're not. I want to see him dance. If, I, if we minute. play some music, would you dance for us? I want to see you dance. What could we play? Sure. Play something. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Do you like it? I, I hate that. Like I've got to. Do you like fast or slow music to dance uh, to? Half fast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here, try some of this salsa. <laughs> Drink this. No. I got to see him dance, just very quickly. Uh, play, play, play one of his songs or something. I'll tell you what I'll do. What? You know, what? I'll do even even better than that, you know. What? We had rehearsed all this earlier. Uh, you haven't when, rehearsed when, any of this dancing. When uh, Don Williams sings uh, Games People Play, I will dance off camera somewhere. And okay. if, if y'all think there's merit in it, why? We can take a shot at that. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll do that. We'll yeah. do that. Well, don't so you we, think that's the best way to do it? I think it's a brilliant well, idea. I mean, yeah, we're going to have to get I a do. panel of judges for this thing, aren't we? Right. Well, we, let's let the audience be the judge. No. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is. Let's just tell them about the Georgia thing, though. What's the date on that? September yeah. 22nd? Wait a minute. No, we got... Okay, we have the information coming up as we go to break about the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. Back with Joe South, the Dancing Machine, and more after this. Congratulations, Joe, for being in the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. And here are the dates for Joe's performance at the grand opening of the Georgia Music Hall of Fame in Macon, Georgia. Stay tuned for Don Williams with one of Joe's big songs next on Music City Tonight with Brooke and Chase.